So then that next year, 2014, you actually had your first daughter. Yeah. I mean, having a kid usually is a life-changing experience. Having a daughter is an even more life-changing experience for a man. When that happened, did you feel like, all right, I got to move different and really change my life? Or was yeah. it like, Yeah, yeah. Not having really? my daughter made me move different and change my life. Because if I ain't had my daughter, I probably would have still been doing a lot of dumb shit and still been in the streets heavy like how I was. So that's, yeah. I know having my daughter changed a lot of shit. And I was young too at the time, so hell yeah, it changed. It changed a lot of shit. Right, because you you were how old at the time? Twenty um, one. Like like. Yeah. Probably like twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty one exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twenty twenty one. Well, and I think that same, yeah, and I think that same year you actually ended up getting arrested on a gun charge, and you claimed that the Chicago police actually planted the gun on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they did plant the gun on me because the gun went under my seat. It was like five of us in the car, but they knew who I was. So by that time, they was like, shit, you gonna burn out? This your gun. This your gun, right? So that's how I got locked up. I think, was, was it around that time? You know, you're still signed to Def Jam. And I mm -hmm. guess there was some sort of situation. You mentioned on academics in the studio where things went crazy and something got broken and guns got pulled out and some yeah. other shit. Hell yeah, yeah. Like downtown in the studio, I had just signed to Def Jam. Like, shit, they booked a session. And it was like some girls was in our studio session. We young, you know, we got a group full of girls in there. So some more group full of girls coming out. Now they get to fighting. And that bitch fighting. That shit led to all type of shit. Like, they bust a big window on the studio. Like, you know, CR, I think, matter of fact, was this CRC? No, I don't think this was CRC, folks. But it's like, that shit was downtown. I think it was CRC, if I'm not mistaken. They bust a big glass on the front window, like $50,000 glass. We had to pay for. They was crashing to all the cars that was in front of the um, studio. Like, it was a mess. It was a lot going on. Wait, 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 wait. They, they crashed into the cars yeah, as well? Yeah, like, the girl, like, she got jumped on. So when she was, like, trying to get back in, she was trying to run people over it's outside the studio. Whoever was outside the studio. Wow. Okay. And after all the dust settled, you got left with the bill. Man, yup. Hell yeah, I had to pay that shit. Okay. And was that like after that you ended up leaving Def Jam? Yeah, hell yeah, I had to leave Def Jam because they made me pay for it. Yeah. Okay. And then that next year you dropped the Super Vultures EP with Lil Durk. Yeah. Were you independent at that point or yeah, were you still yeah. on Def Jam? Yeah, I was independent. I was independent at that time. Yep, I've been independent ever okay. since. Okay. And that was a... Okay, that was a hell of a project, by the way. Keep My Distance is, is one of my favorite songs by you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's my joint right there. Okay, so now you're independent. And you actually said that you actually made more money independently in one year than you made with your million-dollar signing bonus when you signed a Def Jam. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, how did it feel to, to be independent at that point? I don't know. It felt good, actually, because it was like the label, I wasn't waiting on them no more. I ain't have to wait on no label. I ain't have to wake up and be like, what the label on? Is they going to get behind this? Is they going to do this? Is they going to do that? Instead of just going. When I knew I was independent, I knew I, ain't have to, I couldn't depend on no label. I had to just go and just make it happen myself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think in general, I mean, it, it's cool to sign to a major and get your name up and get radio play and, and g get that machine. But at one point, once you figure out the game, yeah, you can make way more money. You know, all the stream money. I mean, because what, what I understand, when you sign to a major label, they pretty much keep most of the stream money. You yeah, get the yeah. show money. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know don't, what I'm saying? You don't, you don't, you don't see they, none of that they, money. They're going to recoup. Yeah, you don't see none of that money that's, you don't see none of that money that's getting sold on the internet. You don't get none of the streaming money because they got to recoup their money back that they spent on you. So why, yep. so why, exactly. so exactly. why, so why do some sign and stuff when you could be independent and you could get all the screaming money yourself? 